If x and y are positive integers, which of the following is equivalent to 2x to the 3y minus 2x to the y? It's not answer choice A. Answer choice A has an exponent of 2y, which is what you would get if you subtract 3y minus y. But you would only subtract exponents if you had division of your two terms. Instead, we have subtraction, so we don't get to use that rule. So that's the trap question, or trap answer. For b, if we want to see if it's equal to the original, we can just try distributing the 2 to the y in b. And if you distribute the 2 to the y to the first term, to the x cubed, then you just have 2yx cubed. But there's really nothing I can do to simplify that, and that's not going to be equal to the first term from the original. So it's actually not going to work, but just so we can see the second term actually is equal, if you distribute the 2y times the x to the y, well, then that actually is 2x to the y. And I put the rule for why that works. If you have a to the y times b to the y, then that's always a b to the y. And you can see in this case, a is 2 and b is x. But again, that only gives you that the second term there is equal to the second term. But since the first term is not equal to the first term, then we're not allowed to use it. So it's not equal to it. But c is the one that works. If you distribute 2x to the y to 2x to the 2y, well, then you're just going to add the exponents because they have the same base. You can put the rule a to the b times a to the c is equal a to the b plus c. You add exponents when they have the same base, the a in this case being the base or the 2x in the case of the red lines. And that gives you 2x to the y plus 2y, which is 2x to the 3y. And then if you follow the purple line, you have 2x to the y times 1. Well, that's just 2x to the y. And that does give us what we want.